Good morning, we're Jacob and Jenny and we have arrived in Maui, Hawaii. Yep, today is our second day here. Today we are gonna climb up a hike here to see some beautiful views of the island. So let's go. So we're starting off this morning hiking the Wahi Ridge Trail. It's on the western side of the island and it's supposed to be some absolutely beautiful views of the top and already just from the start, like the views are just magnificent behind us. You can see the ocean in the background. It's gorgeous. In our last video, uh, you guys saw us hike in Haleakala up at the top of the old volcano. Uh, that was completely barren, kind of a deserted wasteland. This is completely different. We are just in one of the lushest forests I've ever seen, just green everywhere. It's really beautiful, very humid though. So the trail is very slippery. Um, it isn't raining now, but it seems like it's been raining. And uh, I've already slid a few times on some of the rocks, so be careful. Ooh, pretty. Oh, there's a waterfall. This would have been rough if it was raining because it's already slippery and it's dry and it's not raining. This would have been tough to climb if it was wet and muddy. So we made it up over this way, um, about a mile and a half. And I think now we're going to turn around because um, it's pretty muddy and I know it's gonna be really steep and rough on the way back and I just don't want to go through more of that so we might have had like a I don't know half a mile quarter of a mile left but I think we're just gonna head back now definitely deserve some donuts now uh, and you really can't beat the views. On the way we got some breakfast, some malasadas which are donuts here in Hawaii. Um, I don't know if they're as famous on Maui as other islands um, but they are like a sugary donut um, that's kind of like a, a dough ball and then sometimes they have fillings in it. All the ones we got have some sort of filling in it. Um, so the type of donut actually came here from the Portuguese um, back when there was more um, sugar and uh, pineapple plantations when they needed the workers. They had people from the Azores come and so that's why this Spanish sounding donut or I guess Portuguese sounding donut um, is in Hawaii. This first one is uh, ube which uh, is a uh, purple like sweet potato yam uh, so I'm pretty interested in what this tastes like. Mm, the donut's really nice real not I mean, it's sweet, but it's not like super sweet. It's a little more, I don't want to say savory donut, but um, kind of. I guess the sweet potato also makes it a little more savory just because it's a potato. So the other two uh, malasadas that we got were passion fruit and custard, and they both look pretty similar. Hmm. 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 I think this one covered in sugar is passion fruit because it definitely has more of a fruity taste to it. It's really good. It's so decadent and fatty and sweet. 
from them good on a hiking day. And the last one we got is custard and we got these from Sugar Beach Bakery um, near where we're staying. Highly recommend them. So that was a pretty intense hike. Um, I have a few recommendations. Make sure you get here early because the parking situation, we had to wait like half an hour just to be able to park. Um, we came at about 10 a.m. Um, so I recommend getting there early or maybe even a little bit later since uh, it seems like there's parking available now and it's about one o'clock. Um, don't go if it's rainy. It's very, very slippery even when it's not raining. Um, and oh, hiking sticks would definitely help too. Um, so there's definitely some beautiful views though if you wanna come and uh, see kind of all of Maui, or at least a lot of Maui, um, is definitely worth the visit. Um, now I think though we are ready to eat. We've definitely worked up quite an appetite, so we are gonna go to lunch. We got poi by the pound, and we got a mixed Hawaiian plate. It's definitely enough food for two. So in it, there's two different pork dishes, macaroni salad, rice, something called chicken long rice, poi, a pokey, and then a little salmon salad looking thing. I think I'm gonna go for what I think is the pokey first. So it looks like it's just a little bit of tuna with a, some sort of glaze and some vegetables. Ooh, that's pretty good. It tastes pretty fresh and it also the seasoning in it is really good. So I am going to give this chicken long rice a try. It looks like a soup, kind of. There's little chunks of chicken, and it's called long rice, but it looks like long noodles that are clear. It, I don't know, the consistency's kind of freaking me out. You know what? Eating that tastes like a Campbell's chicken soup. Very good chicken soup. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Next, I'm gonna try what I think is a salmon dish. It does look like there's a few small chunks of salmon, so I'm gonna give this a try. Mm. Mm-hmm. There's like a fresh sal salad, and then there's just little tiny chunks of salmon in it. Oh, pretty good. This next thing is called Lao Lao, and I'm not really sure what to expect with it. Uh, from the menu, it says it's slightly salted pork, uh, steamed in a taro leaf. It kind of looks like a Greek grape leaf wrapped dish, but we'll see how the inside, ooh, the pork in this looks really good. So let's try to get some of the, the leaf here with the pork. Let's get it all in one bite. Are you supposed to eat them? Oh, I don't know, I assume so. I'm gonna eat the leaf. Hmm, I think you're supposed to eat the leaf. It kind of tastes like a, collard greens or mustard greens or something like that. Um, just a kind of green leafy vegetable that's been steamed and kind of wilted and ooh, all the fat in there is just kind of just dripping. It's very rich, uh, a very simple dish, but like just the pork, just the flavor of the pork basically is what comes through and the fat has kind of saturated everything. It's it's nice. We have another pork dish that came with this meal, which is Kahlua pork, and it's another steamed pork dish. Shredded. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Very moist. Moist and just flavorful pork. So next up we have the poi. Um, not really sure what to make of this. It looks kind of like a pudding. Um, so this is actually, the restaurant was called Poi by the Pound. So this is what it's named after. Uh, and I believe, from doing a little bit of research, it is basically boiled down um, like a root vegetable. I think with the purple color it probably looks uh, I think it's probably like a purple sweet potato, like what we had this morning with our donuts. So I'm gonna give this a try. It looks kind of like a gelatiny. Hmm. Not 
sure how I feel about that. So I'll eat it. Um, it tastes starchy. Uh, it's not, it's cold, so it's not warm like uh, mashed potatoes or other starchy things like we normally think of. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of gooey. There's not a real strong flavor. Uh, it's mostly just kind of a texture. It's just, I don't know, it's different. Um, we'll see how Jenny likes this one. Don't know how to feel after Jacob tried it. I don't know about this. It's definitely like rooty, but well, I don't know. Maybe it's okay. So the last thing that we have is macaroni salad, and um, I really like macaroni salad. At least a lot of the ones I've had. There's a place in New Orleans that has a, a tiki bar so that has really good macaroni salad and whenever you go there I also want to get that along with my drink so I'm hoping this is as good as that hmm it's good it's really creamy not very like strong flavor of like any particular seasoning or onion or anything like that it's pretty much just like creamy noodle macaroni salad Ooh. So I think we're ready to finish this meal off. It's, uh, it's all really good, so yeah, I think we're just gonna eat. Now after finishing our big lunch, uh, we thought it would be a great idea to go to the beach, which is just right across the street from our hotel. couldn't snorkel, but it was still a nice yeah. beach to just, we got a chance to just relax and sit and watch the waves for a while. I think we're going to try to redeem ourselves on Monday, maybe, yeah. when we uh -huh. have a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. uh, but since uh, snorkeling didn't quite work out, we decided to come to a local brewery, Maui Brewing, and uh, just have some a nice relaxing dinner here. Yeah, so we're going to finish eating our dinner and having our beers, and um, tomorrow we are going to do the road to Hana. Uh, really looking forward to that, so make sure you subscribe so you get notified uh, when we release that video. That should be quite a doozy and yeah. kind of the highlight of this trip <laughs> to Hawaii. All right, well, thank you for watching. Good night. See you next time.